Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, a short introduction to the method of Frobenius. The method of Frobenius is a method to solve a differential equation, and we assume that the solution can be written in terms of a power series. Here we have summed from k equals zero to infinity. However, a more general relationship is to include an offset where k is replaced by k plus r. But this is a simple one to try first, and often this works. If this doesn't work, and k plus r doesn't work, well, you know with differential equations, there's lots of tricks. You never can tell with a differential equation just what may work and what may not work in most general cases. So let's set this up here, where we look at the derivative of the power series. We pull down a k and then have an x at a k minus 1. And some folks like to start this k equal to 1, since the first term here, a sub 0, x to the 0 is, a const, is the constant a sub 0. And if you take the derivative, that goes away, then k starts at 1. But there's no harm in letting k keep with 0 as the beginning, because, look, when k is 0, you get 0 anyway. So I'll leave the k equals 0. Then for the second derivative, we pull down k minus 1, there's another factor here, k times k minus 1, and then we have x to the k minus 2. Notice there's no harm in keeping the k equals 0, because when k equals 0, you get 0. When k equals 1, you get 0. And when k equals 2 is you get your first, your term, that's non-zero. Then what you do is you plug this into your differential equation, and that's step 1, series plug-in. Step 2 is fix the exponents. You want all the exponents to be x to the k power. And after you do that, and would, that may require you to uh, relabel uh, things a little bit because you want the sum from k equals 0 to infinity to be in sync with each other, each term. Then you can use the arbitrary argument, step 3, the ar arbitrary argument where you pull the x to the k out to the far right. And since the sum is equal to 0, and the x's are arbitrary, you cannot count on it being zero because x happens to conspire to be a value that makes it true because x is arbitrary where you can pick x to be whatever you want. It's a variable, therefore, to make it vanish all the time, what's in parentheses is zero. And when you do that, you go to step four, which is find the recursion relation, which will give you a k plus one term or a k plus two term in terms of the k term. We're going to do this in another section, but this is the general outline of the method of Frobenius.